before we get out of the college stuff, I do want to ask about the email that you sent to everybody through coming out of high school yeah. and coming out of JUCO. Talk about that email. You got that thing went viral. Well, it was co copy and paste. It was, hey, I'm Josh Allen, six foot five, two twenty. Feel like I'd be a great fit for your program. Here's my huddle. These are my stats. Blah blah blah. Um, and I literally just word copy, word. Paste, yeah, copy, that's, paste, that's copy, it. paste. Sent it to every single coach that I could. I could find emails too when I sent them. So. Yeah. Where'd you grow up? Like, where'd you play high school at? I played in a small town called Fireball High School. Like, where's uh, Fireball? Fireball is where I'm from. In Wyoming? Fireball. No, California. What California. a great ball. Yeah. Oh, what a great name. And you weren't recruited out of high school? I had zero offers out of high school. I had no preferred walk-ons out of high school. No preferred walk-ons at all. A couple of D3s were trying to give me an academic scholarship so I can go play there. That didn't. didn't where'd happen. you go play JUCO at? Reedley. Reedley College. Oh, there it is. Where? Out of California. Yep. Now, were you just not very good in high school? Why don't you think you were getting a lot of poke? Because you're in California. I mean, you could check tape. You were slinging it? Were I was slinging it. that thing, yeah. Yeah, no. I, I felt like I was good enough to play. That's obviously why I tried to continue and went the junior college route. Um, but again, I didn't want to make my parents pay for me to go play somewhere. So I wanted to go junior college, get a, get a scholarship, and kind of pay back my family for doing that. So, um yeah, it was. Dude, you're a fucking good guy. It was, dude. It was crazy, process, right? Me up, yes. Process. Wow. Um, did you not go to any like camps in the off season, like any national camps? Never. Like, to try and get everything out, you just played high school ball and made went, I, and I, emails. Yeah, but I played football, I played basketball and baseball, so it was a three sport guy. So I didn't have the, the summers where I can just go for two, do the quarterback carousel and go to all the yeah. all the different camps and stuff. And I know plenty of guys that did that that didn't pan out. Didn't work at all. They freaking get burnt out, you know, like they continue doing the real. same thing. Yeah, it's absolutely real. Yeah. So, and I got the chance to play different sports and feel different emotions and learn different types of characters and how to deal with all that stuff. So, I think that's, I think it's something a lot of kids need to continue to do is play more sports. And yeah, one sport to, athletes at the age of like eight years old. Yeah. That ain't a, terrible. Get him out. Play terrible. every sport, dude. Every sport. Every sport. Play soccer, play basketball. I did gymnastics for a little bit. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. I'd keep that to yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, that's not balanced, dog. <laughs> yeah. That was like three weeks ago, too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell no. Doug, I need those photos. If that's true, I need a photo of you Are doing you a leotard or anything like that. Yeah, absolutely. We'll find it. No, I'm just kidding. Google's um, there. I forget yeah, what I was going to ask. I'm thinking of him in a, I'm literally yeah. thinking of him in a leotard yeah, right now, bro. No. Um, George, help out. Uh, well, you said you want to get out of the college one, so you wanted to move on to something else. No, the uh, yeah, I, I was going to talk about those the kids who specialize in one sport, like their parents, oh, just oh for sure all year round. Oh, dude, it's brutal. I had I have I've uh, Stoops kids, uh, Drake and Isaac. They're twins. Bob Stoops. My da our dads play together, so like I've known them since they were like four years old, mm -hmm. and like. They went on like the football only train for like one summer, and then they like all, both almost got burnt out by it. And I was like, "You guys just go play basketball, go play soccer, like go play baseball, play everything. Like you might as well. Like you get good at everything. Like every sport teaches you something that you yeah. can ultimately use later in life. Like yeah. if you just do one thing, like if I was going to the same football facility since I was eight years old, like summers and your training is all your, revolving around yeah. just football. football. Oh, dude, I and could I be burnt out football all year round as a kid. Like we played six games a season when i was in youth football six yeah and you practice twice a week yeah. so it happens for like two months and it's over he said soft look at yeah. us look at me now though <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how much did you play were you in pop warner yeah i mean I, we had six game my first year was a five game season then it was a six game season then yeah seventh and eighth grade were both six games so when you're before middle school seventh grade fifth are, grade was my first year of how football. often are you guys practicing i think Oh, I think we did three. I think we did three days a week. Actually, you know what? I think back on it. Yeah, no, you don't really practice a lot back really then. You really don't. No. Nah. You, you talk to your competition about how long your practices are. Like, yo, we're practicing for two and a half hours. Though. Yeah, like, we're crazy. Gonna, we're, we're getting gonna better. Ass, dude. No, nah, dude. I think my, my, because I, we had my dad, like the first time I was on the bus, he came on, he talked about, because he was my coach back then. And he, uh, we'd start and end every practice with offensive line drills. Oh, dude, your dad's sliding. Crazy, like our quarterbacks would do it. Wide receivers would do it. It was crazy, Josh. Everybody's blocking. You know his dad? I don't uh, know if I've ever met your dad. I don't know if you have. He's oh, a big bald bro. guy. He's big fun ball. to talk to. Big ball guy. You get some time. Is he gonna be a tight end? You? Oh, Bruce. He, Bruce. You get some time. You pull Bruce aside and you talk to Bruce. Bruce is bro. the orchestrator behind tight end. You. He's a big part of that. Yeah, Bruce is a stud. He he really is yeah, awesome. You're gonna enjoy him.